After the success of Chandrayaan-3 mission and launch of Aditya L1, the Indian Space Research Organization is now set to take its first step towards the Gaganyaan mission. Gaganyaan is India's ambitious mission to send astronauts to space. ISRO will launch an uncrewed flight test at 8 a.m. IST today to test the safety of astronauts for future human space programs. The National Space Agency will attempt the launch of its test vehicle, demonstrating in a single-stage liquid propulsion rocket. And like all ISRO launches, the Gaganyaan test flight will also take off from the agency's Satish Dhawan Space Center in the Indian state of Andhra Pradesh's Sri Harikota. The test launch of the vehicle will act as a stepping stone for the progress of the Gaganyaan mission. And if successful, it will pave the way for other unmanned missions, including sending a robot into space next year. The Gaganyaan project will demonstrate human spaceflight capability by taking a three-member crew to an orbit of 400 kilometers on a mission that will last three days and then bring the crew back safely with a landing set to take place in Indian sea waters. Now, according to the ISRO website, a series of parachutes will be deployed as the module begins its descent to help ensure a safe touchdown in the waters of Bay of Bengal, about 10 kilometers from the Siri Harikota coast. The Indian Navy will be waiting at a safe distance with a ship and a team of divers who will recover the module and bring it safely back to shore. Now, according to the space agency, the short duration test will last about nine minutes, sending a manned mission with three astronauts into low Earth orbit will happen only after the successful completion of all these tests. Now, according to the Indian government announcement last week, the launch is scheduled to take place in the year 2025. And for more on this, our correspondent Siddharth MP has sent us this report from Sri Harikota. Take a look. We are barely one hour away from what ISRO calls Test Vehicle Demonstration Flight 1. World over, space agencies, when they do missions involving astronauts, there is an extra deal of caution that they have to factor in. This is primarily because human life is priceless and astronaut missions are extremely big ticket, high profile missions. There's a lot of pride and prestige involved in them. When you send satellites to space, things can go wrong. The rockets can burst mid-flight. There can be catastrophic explosions. Of course, millions of dollars are lost. But after all, it's only a satellite and you can always rebuild it and relaunch it. But that's not the story when it comes to sending humans to space. All space agencies worldwide build very reliable rockets. However, because of the nature of rockets itself, because of the explosive fuels they carry, because of the supersonic speeds that they travel at, and also because of the thousands of moving parts in them, there's always a possibility of a mid-flight catastrophe and an explosion also taking place. So when you're carrying humans or when you're carrying astronauts to space, an extra deal of caution has to be maintained. And that is what ISRO and World Over Space Agencies do by making a crew escape system. So mid-flight even if there is a catastrophe, the capsule which carries the crew which sits right at the top of the rocket can be ejected at the right moment using an automated system. So if a catastrophe is imminent, the next moment computer systems can activate the ejection system and the crew module or that capsule which carries the astronauts can get ejected far away from the rocket and thereafter it can deploy parachutes and then come splash down in the waters near the spaceport. Almost all spaceports worldwide have a water body or an ocean nearby. So splashdowns are possible. This TV-D1 test which ISRO is scheduled to conduct in less than one hour from now is the first in the series of many tests. ISRO hopes to conduct at least three to four more such tests in the coming months in the run-up to the 2025 Gaganyaan astronaut mission. ISRO will be doing these TV test vehicle missions to ensure that the ejection mechanism can work in different regimes at different altitudes, at different speeds and at different dynamic pressure conditions. So that is why this mission is so important and it's one of the most crucial tests that ISRO will have to conduct in the run-up to the Gaganyaan mission. From Sri Harikota, Siddharth MP, We On, World Is One. We On is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.